one where you can snooze all you want and you can still win. Well, someone sounds triggered. Oh. Alright, so the cars are lining up on the grid. Um, we await. So, predictions for today. Well, Delta is down in fifth. Now, he's always going to be at the front, as usual, unless. Um, yeah, unless he has a, an off day. Last few cars lining up on the grid. All right, so. All right ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. All right, wait. No, you take away. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the fourth round of the RM1 World Championship. For pole position, we have game creator Carlos Sainz. <laughs> Didn't Carlos Sainz. Ben McClure gets his best qualifying of the season with second place. The team McLarens lock out the second row with a Scottish Pigeon in third, ahead of his teammate Ismail Decker, who starts in fourth place today. Alpha, the reigning champion, starts in P5 today, ahead of B Guys, last week's podium sitter. Good performance from him last week. In seventh place, we have the other podium sitter of last, last round, Swish the Fire in the Red Star. Mr. Tinfoil unfortunately got banged yesterday. Or was it two days ago? He starts in eighth. Hopefully, he can make a comeback and show those moderators that um, something needs to get unbanned. Um, Alessio, his teammate, starts in ninth place. Creeper Brazil is in tenth, ahead of his teammate, Life Fame, in eleventh. P12, we have one of the silver arrows. That is Reindeer Cosma. Way down the grid. Still by, and the other red star starts in thirteenth place today. For the first time this season, he has not started on the front row. Man lines up in 14th in the other ULB. 14th place, we've got Ion. They say logic, and they say logic is good. Seven in the Golden Benetton starts in P16 today. So in the other Golden Benetton is in 17th. Ellie in the Mars is in 18th. Benoit Best is in 19th place today. In the Caddy. G Fusker, finally said it right, is in P20 today. And Style 6 in the other Silver Arrow is in 21st place today. It starts 22nd in the. Um... Never mind. Philly Jesus, his teammate, starts in 23rd. And last but not least, the J Official, the new boy, starts last place. Top five for today, we got Delphi 690 leading the standings with 55 points. I am in second, Scottish Pigeon with 44 points. Foils and Tim Foils in third with 34 points. My teammate is in fourth with um I've forgotten. Your performance indicator today says <clears throat> your performance indicator says that McLaren is supposed to do supposed to do the best start here. Red star will be in second. The other red star is in third. Logic! What? Logic's fourth. <laughs> so you're right. The weather for today, it's going to be five laps of rain today, between laps 10, 13, and on lap 30. I have been hearing rumors that some drivers are going to be opting for a one-stop strategy today. It's only a matter of time to see how those will do. Can we just comment on how Ben is sitting in P2 in a logic and his teammate is in P15? What a noob, Aeong. What a noob. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Anyway, we look forward to this race at Buta Switch. Um, fantastic weather, sunshine with four laps of rain in the middle and a couple, couple laps of rain at the end, but you only really hit one lap at the end. In terms of uh, predictions, well, who knows? Nobody even knows with RM1. Week you can have one winner, the next another. Rather, no, you, if I was to say that mid season right, last season, it would be Delta all the time. Here we go. Are out and we are underway. Everybody gets away well. Carlos gets a good start, but Delta's making a rocket of a start. And if anyone overtakes me into the first corner, they get banned. 
I, I fall back to fifth place. Carlos leads ahead of Ben Mister. And Ismail goes down the inside and takes second place away from Ben Mister. And Alessio's getting in on the, on the action as well. I get rally crossed and I move down the field, but it's not looking that bad. <clears throat> so further up the field, Carlos leads, but is under pressure from Ismail Decker, who is desperately trying to get his first win of the season. The this McLaren. is crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy. Ismail and Ben run up the inside. Ben comes in. He holds on. He takes the lead as well. Ben Mister goes wide and off the circuit, allowing Ismail to catch him back up again. What a start that is. Ben has taken the lead. Look at him go. Ismail fighting back. Fire is up in eighth place, but I am trying to get him down the inside, but I fail. Not that. I'm not quick enough. Isn't it amazing? You know, Delta had a strong start, but Alessio holding him off like a champ. And here comes I'm a prolapse sandwich. Up. Don't quite take him for seventh, but we are wheel to wheel at the moment. I'm going to try getting around the outside into the next corner. He defends, but I've got the inside line into the next corner. I go down the inside and I hold on to seventh for now. I'm starting to pull ahead and I make the move stick, but not for my. But <clears throat> But for how long is the question because Silby is attacking me once again. He's trying to see if he can make a move around the outside into turn <laughs> number six. Look at Ken. And that allows me to snatch sixth place and Silby gets seventh. Now, this is why we have non-collide walls because if we didn't, Cap would have had a concussion. He went flying through that wall. Holy. That's what happens when you get banned. You become reckless. Literally. I'm getting I got rally crossed by Silby, but I didn't lose Whoa. much. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I fall to the back Pigeon. of the grid. Pigeon. I've gone all the way <laughs> to the back. This is hectic out there. The battle for P3, which is back. I'm being caught up by this massive train of cars. This this is potential to get dangerous. I did a Silby did a mega rally cross on me. I'm fighting back. I'm coming back. I'm in 19th. Silby has come from P, what was it, 11 or 10, up into 5th, and he's challenging Delta. Look at this charge. Up the inside into the next corner. Alicia on the outside. Delta is in a sandwich. He takes 4th place after diving down the inside. Brilliant move from the Red Star boy. Look at Ismail and, and Ben, mister. They are fighting away for the lead. And they've caught up onto my tail. Here comes Delta. He's now taking it fourth from Silby, who runs wide into that last corner. So three wide into turn one. I'm approaching. I'm catching up to G Fusker. Take him around the outside into turn number one. Now I'm catching the two Benetons. I'm going down the inside on both of them, who are side by side. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, chaps. I'm on now. I'm catching live fame for fifteenth. Good comeback. I tell you what is sad. I mean, we haven't really seen Riv up there threatening the lead this I'm season. Inside, I go on live fame, and I'm in fifteenth place. Yeah, as Silby says, Riv who? I don't know her. <laughs> Here comes Delta challenging for P3. This is Comhack battle. We've seen this before. It usually ends in disaster. So what are you doing, Delta? He's lunged up the outside. And so Delta moves into P3. The Comhacks coming into their own now as the battle that we saw early in this race has sort of spread out. I think Reindeer didn't do a strategy again. Down the inside, I go on Nuke, and I'm taking 12th place. Ayung and Jima, Ayung and Bigas are fighting away for a tenth place just up ahead. Ayung tries to go around the outside of Bigas, but Bigas has the inside line. I'm gonna try to get the jump on both of them into this next corner. That's me back, in, and that's me back into the point. It says Bigas gets rally crossed and falls towards Jiman, who is in fourteenth place. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> first and second doing very well, but. It's a bit boring Ismail, to commentate on them. Ismail is in the lead. And went wide. Ismail leads the Hungarian Grand Prix. 
Here comes Alessio and Swish. Now, this is great to see Swish back up the front. Um, he had a terrible season last season, but he's doing well this race. Your thoughts, Pigeon? Yeah. Very well, in fact. Silway drops to seventh after that great push into P5 earlier. So it's all quiet on the western front, but down in P5, Alessio moves up the inside of Swish. That means that Swish is just ahead of Silby. Further down the field in 8th, Cap on that early charge, holding off Pigeon. Pigeon has the fastest lap. Creeper is yeah, now... I was, at, I, was at the back of the, I was at the back of the field after lap 2, I think it was. Already catching Swish for six. Watch out for Creeper. He's moved into P9. Up the inside of Cap. Swish easily disposed up of. Inside, up the inside of... Um, that was Swish. Now I'm up into P6 at the moment. But Swish is going to try and fight, fight back into the first corner. I've got the inside line. I'll be able to hold him off. Coming to turn two. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Hold him off. Now, Silby, who is in sixth place, just is not far ahead. Now, <laughs> Aeon, P11, where's those points, boy? Cap fighting back on Creeper, moves back into P9. He's now going to catch up to Swish, who is in P8, struggling with pace now. Oh, he does it so easily. Cap on a charge. He's now moved up into ninth. Sorry, 8th, and is going to challenge for Sulby's 7th. Look at this battle for P5. This is four cars wide. Push me off, don't push me off, don't push me off. Phew! I can make a quadruple overtake here. Four wide into turn 1. 2, 3 for the compact. And I'm up into 4th place. See, it gets real dangerous when this four wide cap ends up hitting outbounds. Ismail still holds a commanding lead over Delatha in P2. Carlos in P3. Pigeon now up into P4 after getting sent into, well, into space, basically, on, what was it, lap two, three? One of those laps. Down the, down the, <clears throat> I'm not sure which way that was. Down the inside, I go on Carlos, and I take the, I take third place. I'm back on the podium. Great charge there, Pigeon. Chip, Carlos. The thing is, average pace within the top five is roughly 62.8, with the exception of Pigeon doing near 62 flats. Cap is now challenging Swish for P7 after ending up on the grass last lap. Is it going to happen again? Nope. It's done beautifully. So this has ended up being a train. P4, P5, P6, P7, up to P9 is roughly uh, a couple cars distance between them. Well, there's a bit of a gap that's just formed between P7 and P8. Creeper ends up slowing down. Cap now takes P6 from Alessio. He's now right on the tail of Silby. And overtakes. I'm catching Carlos. Delta. Catching Delta. What am I going to do? Coming in. Box, box. The Clarence Pit. Okay, so lap nine. Rain in the next lap. Ismail Pit. Yeah, in the pit lane. Delta takes the lead. Oh, Silby gets rally crossed by Cap. This is exactly why Cap gets banned. Honestly, behave That's yourself. Karma, mate. Ah.
Alright, so that last lap, Delta, 62.6. Oh, wow. 60 seconds. Wow, didn't think I was that quick. Okay, we enter the next phase of this race. This is the one third mark. Carlos enters the pits along with the train behind. Creeper stays out. Right, what are the strategies here? We have two cars meshed together, two teammates, Cap and Alessio, are essentially one car. Aeon oh, stays out. Aeon has stayed out. Ben Mister holds on to believe. I'm catching G-Man for a fifth, for a sixth, six, six, six. Brim B guys is back on the podium. And Ismail's fighting Delpha for fifth, but four, and Delpha appears to be running away with it. So Xoho has a question of why we aren't doing 360s in the pits. Uh, a lot of that comes down to how... <laughs> yeah, well, it's sort We're of... We're not coming into the pits fast enough. Not... Two is a much quicker league. Considering... Well, that did happen with RM1 as well, but some uh, it doesn't happen all the time. It's just because you enter the pits so quick. Alpha is catching Ben, mister. He's closed the gap massively. Well, he is on a supercharge. He takes the lead of the race. So, Judge is asking what, what position he's in. Uh, is... He's outside the top 18, isn't he? He's in 23rd, but he's just been overtaken by Reindeer. Now he's at the back. <laughs> Just overtaking Bigas on the, on the corners. I'm gonna try catch Cooper Brazil, who is looking very slow out there. From the outside, I go into fourth place. That's third and fourth now. And there's the and there's the um the two Ben there's the two Benetons that I passed a couple laps ago. I didn't think I'd end up lapping. Busy battling for 20th. Reindeer Cosmo down in 23rd. It's me, Reindeer. What is going on? Down slow, down slow, down slow, dude. Phew! I was gonna run All off. Right, so there. this is the coming up to the last lap of rain. That's looking pretty quick. Slap of rain. Alright, oh, so has Delta very done quick. enough? A big en you got a big enough gap to hold on. <laughs> what, a what an exit through, through turn one. I'm right up on the back of Silby. So Delta's got a 12, 13 second lead at the moment. Probably end up being about 15 seconds by the time he pits. Boy. My word. Thanks, thanks Leo for getting me all those good slipstream opportunities. 
Right, so Delta enters the pits. This is coming onto lap 14. The, the first dry, first dry lap of the first lap of the series of dry laps are coming. Many dry laps to follow. So, am I going to come into the pits? Yes, he is. Still by, bye, still by. Ben takes the lead. Here we go, and I pass Delpha. Leo One and FF Evan, two teammates running 20th and 21st. One drivers are slow if that if it means they don't do 360s in the pits. Oh yes, but actually no. I've oh, got a shot, Ben. Not sure. I mean, she's not far behind. Where am I? Ismail running P2. Slower than Ben that last lap. The fastest of the top five. Now, hold on. I, I'm surprised about this. The last lap was me. I was not expecting that. But wait for Delta. He's just pit. He's on fresh tyres, fresh fuel. What will he have in the tank? The two McLarens are the fastest on the track at the moment. Right, as we Second cross the line... We're approaching the leader, Mr. 60.4. Ismail is the quickest now out of the top five. Point three, he says. Well, it's a sixty point three five, but it's getting rounded up. Yeah, I'm just looking at the the table there um, instead round, of the car. It rounds up or down depending on the value. All right. So the lap times are pretty close between the top six cap. Mr. Bandman still running in sixth. Everyone else from seventh below is in the 62s. So if you're wanting to run top six pace, you need to be in the 61s or lower. Go now I spoke. I spoke too soon as I've dropped into the 62s. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say anywhere below anywhere below fourth is in the 62s. FM's at 65 and he's in 15. So Delta is now the fastest of the top five, running 60.9. There's a big train of lapped cars. Uh, I believe they're lapped cars. Lapped cars. Who's that engine? Ben Mr. Pitt, out for McLaren 1 2. 1 2 for us. I think Ben's doing a free stop. So Ben is about to exit the pits and he's going to come out just behind me for sixth. Or fifth, sorry. And Cap is going to try overtake Ben. Right, so Judge is still running in 24th. Just got lapped by me again. Really? Here comes Ben. Ben is on a charge. Look at him go. He's going to dispatch of me. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, so what is happening in the field? We have, it's fairly spread out apart from, oh, P11, which, <laughs> guys, is A Yong. <laughs> Still A Yong is, <laughs> is getting challenged by B guys. That's what we like to see.
Uh, it looks as though Aeyong has just pit. He's, his last lap was 82.2. Um, has yeah. exited the pits in 21st. Well, while I'm catching my teammate for the lead. McLaren's be battling it out for the first position spot. They're currently running one and two. Second quicker that last lap. Battle for the lead, so... Ismail versus Pigeon. Two teammates. Two potential championship winners. We play round four. It's a bit too early to say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Pigeon challenging. He's going for the inside. Not quite. Yeah, like, Ismail defends. Oh, look at the lunge! Down the inside they go! Fighting! Fighting! There's no team orders going on. I take the lead from my teammate, but it's still a 1 2 for us. Ismail goes back up the inside, trying to look for an opening. Cannot find it. He's going to try to find a slipstream down the front straight. Pigeon does a 3 6. No, you know, he didn't. Pigeon enters the pits. So, Ismail, back into the lead. What did that do to him, psych uh, psyching him out? Did that uh, induce a bit of boost? Only rejoined in fifth place, so it's not bad. Oh, this is lap 20. Delta running P2, but his chat suggests that he's going to try and pit this lap. Seven for the Red Stars, I've just been told. And still by sixth and seventh. I said that. Ismail pits. This is coming on to lap 21. And I'm doing an undercut on my teammate. And that undercut worked. Come out ahead of him. Ismail, Ismail comes out just behind Carlos. Manil Beth is just ahead of me in 21st. He's a whole lap down. Bit, whole lap and a bit down. <laughs> well, I'll move from Ismail around the outside on Carlos. Right, so nine laps to go, roughly. It Let's could be anyone's race. I'm going to pass him in the straight, and Ismail's probably going to do the same. Yes, he does. Second and third, once again, for the two McLarens. Right, so. Ben now retakes the lead pigeon in p2 is mal in third with delta in fourth uh Silwai taking yeah. fifth actually i'm in second is not is careful 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 Attacking me.
second faster than the leader. Ismail takes the fastest lap of the race, 59.7. I go down the inside of Ismail Decker. We are battling for the race lead. Pretty much. You mean second? Probably going to become the race lead at some point. Because none uh, of us goes. Depends, none of us goes depends off. Have been and again, we are we are about a second a lap faster than him. Yeah. Lap sixty point eight, sixty one three. Pitching up the inside, Ismail. Holding that inside line for the next corner. Push me off, don't push me off, don't push me off. Phew. Yeah, Xoho has a good point. You might want to decide who wins this battle, otherwise you both might end up losing it. Ben weaving his way through lap traffic. Oh, oh, Pigeon, control yourself, control your hormones. Well, it didn't cause me too much damage. I'm still, I'm still inferred. I didn't, I didn't lose much. Cap dives up the inside of me. 25, this is. Point four seconds to Ben, Mister. The battle for the top four is very close, apart from Delta. But Delta is on a charge. He's made it four seconds, which was near six seconds earlier. Looking somewhat quick. Ismail's approaching Ben for the race lead. Right up on his tail. Which way is Ismail going to go? Is he going to go around the outside or the inside? He goes down the inside and he takes the race lead teammate is not far behind 1.4 seconds down the road and Delpha is a little concerning a little concerning with me with Delpha Chris was trying to fight back and fight <laughs> Just trying to fight Ismail for the lead again. So I'll have to get in an interview. Lap 27, Ismail leads. Ben catching up on the straights. He's going to take the dive right up on the tail of Ismail. Pigeon running third, fourth, with about 4.4 seconds between them. Delta is running fourth. Further 17 seconds. Seconds from Delta to Carlos and Cap has been relegated to sixth. Where I come on, Ben, Mister? Gaining, I'm gaining. What am I going to do? Am I going to go on the outside or the inside? Oh, it's close. Don't take me around the outside. Going down the inside. To the outside. AI decides to go down the inside, and I take second place in this race, and I do not go off. So it, once again, it's a McLaren one-two. Twenty-eight, two to go. Get big brain. Oh, 
that code word for something. Oh. Delphi's catching. Two point seven. Two point nine to Ben, mister. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is so concerning. I'm concerned. <laughs> Lap twenty nine, two to go. Clarence are still running first and second. And Mr. is down in fourth place. Third place. I was only two seconds behind. 6.6 .6 seconds to me. Carlos, you there? Carlos? Not there. All right, so. Yep. yep. There you are. There you are. You, went, you, just, you muted your mic for some reason. Wait, is Ben gonna pit? I don't know. Is he? He might auto pit. That's what he's saying in the chat. Might auto pit. Battle for P5. Cap is not leaving. leaving me alone. And here is the rain. Last lap of the race. Might take the podium. Might snatch it away. Delpha. He's left the chat. I don't know who it was. Ben, where's Ben? Ben still in third place is looking good, and so far, you guys is down in tenth place. <laughs> After the last few corners, Ismail Decker is now coming round the final corner. Ismail Decker, for the second time, he for the second time in his career, he wins at Buter Switch. His teammate, Delta the Scorchman, finished it in second place to make it a McLaren 1 2. Well done, well done. Great race. Ben Pitts! Delta takes the podium. What did we do? What's gonna happen with Ben? Is he gonna hold on? Here comes Carlos. No. Oh. Horrible, horrible stuff for him. Right, and will who will come across in fifth? It'll have to be Ben. Very close. Still <laughs> by almost got fifth. Oh, yeah. He finishes in sixth place. Well, wow, McLaren really schooled Comhack today. And celebratory. Here we go. No one wants to talk. Let him. Wow, what a race. A race indeed, mate. First and second. From, um, How about that? Oh, wow. Base, no trouble. I'm all on about that base, about that base. No. That's, 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 not what you, that's not what we asked for. Got base, good base. Hot potato, 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 hot potato
Don't believe this. This is my third one. What a race! A race indeed. I take Bloxy Cola. Second win in Butter Switch, but it's my third race win in Career Marker. Switch is always my favorite track. To find a clarin. What a race, man. The third race at Future Spring. The team. Maybe it here long ago. And we finally got a one-two. 